A major snag in the Syria peace talks. Opposition leaders want out. They notified the United Nations of their decision not to participate until the Syrian government gets serious about ending the conflict. CCTV's Guy Henderson has been following the developments in Geneva. And Guy, why suspend these talks? Well, the, the main Syrian opposition group, Elaine, in, in the last 20 minutes or so, have released a full written statement detailing uh, exactly why they uh, have uh, announced that they are pausing from these talks. Um, they accuse um, the Syrian government of worsening the situation on the ground since these talks started uh, on Wednesday, and they, in this written statement, are calling for uh, the international community to put pressure on the Bashar al-Assad government um, to uh, rein back the violence inside Syria uh, and, and bring about that, that lull in uh, hostilities that we've seen uh, over most of the last six weeks or so. Um, but they didn't appear in person. That was left to the UN Special Envoy, Stefan de Mistura. And here's his summary of why the opposition felt they had to withdraw from these talks, at least in their current form. I heard today, by meeting the delegation of the HNC, their intention to postpone their formal participation in the Palais to the negotiations in order to express their own displeasure and concern on the humanitarian situation degradation and on the problems related to the cessation of hostilities. Well, there's little doubt, I think, that the, the violence has been worsening over the last few days. And um, a, a few um, reports coming from aid agencies, 100,000 people, they're saying, or more than, uh, are now trapped in northern Syria, north of Aleppo city, trying to get across what is a closed Turkish border. Uh, we're hearing of a new rebel offensive near Latakia as well. Um, now, um, the uh, special envoy had said that the International Syria Support Group may look to meet on this in the coming days. And also, uh, in the last half hour or so, um, we've heard that the, the White House President, uh, Barack Obama, has spoken with Russian President Vladimir Putin, and they said they're going to shore up, intensify efforts to, to shore up this, that cessation of hostilities. So, Guy, where does this leave the peace process? Uh, well, um, that's a very good point. Suspended, though, is the word he's, is the, uh, de Mistera used. Not, uh, these talks have not collapsed. Um, effectively, I think what's going to happen in the next few days is that talks will actually continue, but just not here on the UN campus. So more of a symbolic protest um, by this main opposition group. Um, but all that to say that um, very little progress has been made here uh, in the last few days. Um, and that main stumbling point um, the future of Bashar al-Assad, uh, the Syrian president, um, seems at this, this stage um, to be preventing much progress at all in these talks. All right, CCTV's Guy Henderson reporting live from Geneva.